one bite. Today is finally the time. We're in Guyana right now, but we're gonna try and cross the Suriname. So my hotel here, the Classic International, which is basically the only one you can find online, is, uh, I mean, it's not bad, as you can see. The staff are pretty nice. But man, <laughs> is it overpriced. You know how much a night costs here? A hundred dollars. A hundred dollars. In the countryside of Guyana. You can really see all the inflation caused by the Guyanese immigrants coming back to visit and the oil money starting to seep in. I mean, if it was a hundred dollars and like real quality, I wouldn't mind but there's no hot water in my room, the toilet doesn't work, I got all these other problems. Alright, taxi? Yeah, yeah. Right. Wait, this place, the ferry terminal, it's called like the back roads. Yeah, right? the outer bumps. Okay, the outer bumps. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so as you just heard, we're going to the proper ferry terminal. To go to Suriname, like actually go to Suriname now. We don't walk no fun. Or day you live. Uh, walk over? The walk? Is, is, is that what tourist, you, tourist. Is that what you, is that what you call taking a ferry over? Uh, yeah, no, I'm gonna go visit, see what's We're going on over there. Please. I heard they speak Dutch over there. Yes. Okay. Start with different language. Ah, interesting. That language hard for that. Wow. Am I gonna have to learn that? How's life around here? Peaceful? Yes. Yeah, yeah buddy. Oh, well. Cheers. <laughs> Alright. Back on the road. Thanks for that, by the way. See you, buddy. <laughs> the people that live around here, they're Amerindian? It was Amerindian. Ah, oh, okay. But they live here. I see. You have a good one. Later. Yeah, safe. I'm going to the ferry, yeah. yeah. You have to get any Suriname currency to buy? Uh, I don't have any Surinamese currency, no. You have to get any currency. That's 15,000 you do there? Yeah. You buy it at 15? That's 1,000 Suriname dollars. Ah, no. You have a mask? I do have a mask, yeah. You can use the phone down. All right. I can see the Dutch. Hey, good afternoon. Good or good morning, I should say. What does that need? Passport. Okay. Passport. Your passport, your yellow fever card. You need to show yellow fever vaccination card if you want to go to Suriname. Which I only have a picture of. On my laptop. COVID test. All right. Literally two hours later, huh? after all the COVID testing, I gotta let you know if you want to take this ferry to Suriname, Guyana, they're very, uh, they're very strict. They're a little bit anal with the rules. For example, you need a yellow fever vaccine and they want the actual physical copy of it, <laughs> which that was not a problem for me in any of the African countries. But um, 
I, I originally got that in Tanzania. And then, as you may recall, we had the, uh, the bag on the bus incident. So I've just been like showing a picture of the card I used to have. And I had a bit of a problem with that, so they held me up. But anyway, I'm here. You can see the people and the vehicles getting off the boat that just came from Suriname, arriving in Guyana. Which means I had to wake up even earlier than I did to get on that boat. Another thing to note, there's almost no information about this online. So if you read about crossing the border, the land border from Guyana to Suriname, it may tell you that you can just like get a visa on arrival when you get to Suriname. Like you can just pay for it at the border. But uh, I don't know when they changed it, but now you gotta do it online. And if you don't do that, because it takes like one to three working days, uh, they're gonna refuse you here. I saw another guy get turned away. And then of course, you can't forget all the drama with uh, your COVID test and you gotta have the vaccine card and blah, blah, blah. This ferry terminal is really nice though. I mean, look at it. Reminds me of Rwanda. I hope with uh, all the oil money that Guyana's got, you can uh, make Georgetown look like this too. Bringing your dog to Suriname? I like how they literally have like a full bar here in the waiting room <laughs> while you're waiting. Fortunately, kind of got trashed last night. My friend Rashad and his family. It's just water for me right now. Uh, you have a good day. All right. Beautiful day to take a ferry. Let's go see a new country. Fair enough. And away we go. Bye, Guyana. I might be back soon, though. But we're gonna go see what's up in Suriname. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, that this ferry ride only takes like 10 minutes. Because you can already see the other bank right over there. That's Suriname. Somewhere down there, deep down the Quarantine River, my friend Vishal that I met last night, he must be out there fishing. Um, right now he should be almost done. He told me he was going to go out at 1 a.m. and come back around 10. Him and his wife were so sweet that they actually went and looked up like a friend they had in Suriname. And they are trying to get him to come and like drive to the border to pick me up and take me the capital city they have there. Yeah. Great people. But you don't fill up? Yeah. I was, yeah, I'm doing fine, yeah. A lot of Dutch on this application. Yeah. You live in Suriname or... Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Dutchman. Oh, you're a Dutchman. Are you? I'm uh, not a Dutchman. Not guy needs either. American. Not yeah, American. Yeah. First time in Suriname. Huh? Yeah. My first time in Suriname. Yeah. Suriname has plenty of ladies. Plenty of what? Plenty of ladies. Oh, okay. yeah. nice. Nice ladies. Okay. Yeah. Japanese, Indian. Japanese, Indian. Negro. All take what you want. China. Okay. okay. Well, you got all the flavors. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a funny guy. You're guy in here? Uh, you going to visit? No. Uh, oh, you live there? Okay. Oh, nice. My first time. All right. What's your name? Arval. Arval. All right. Arval wants a photo. 
It was good. How do you say uh, thank you in Suriname? Thank you, thank you. You say badang? Yeah, badang. Okay, there yeah. we go. I gotta, I gotta learn some Dutch. Yeah. It's even worse than a four or five hour bus ride. A four or five hour bus ride with no Wi Fi. Sit here and you can make pictures, video. <laughs> nice. Ali is rice. This is all rice, rice over here. Rice. Yeah. Okay. This tree is what you are seeing here? Yeah. Yes, it's cassava tree from Surinam. Oh, that's a cassava tree. cassava, yeah. Okay. Do you have like that? Which country are you from? Uh, United States. Huh? United States. Oh, United States? New York. New York, okay. Yeah. So this is all farmlands. Farmland. Oh. Yes, this tree here, what you see? Yeah. This is our mango tree. That's your mango tree. Surinam. See the big green, green one? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, nice. How do you like Guyana? Good? Yeah, it's pretty nice. It's, uh... You went to Brazil? Not yet. Why? <laughs> That's a good question. Maybe if you go if you go Brazil, you will not go back to the US. I know. I'll uh... vote you. It's because the, the Brazilian girl is going to kidnap you. <laughs> oh, you know... Uh... I'm, getting, I'm getting ready. I heard you speaking that before. What's the no follow Portuguese? <laughs> eu falo. Ó, oh, eu falo. Quando você quer falar mais bem, você quer o Aí, tu complica primeiro, eu, eu... fala mais rápido. Sim. Sí. Eu falo mais espanhol que português, ah, mas é, é por isso. Eu falo um pouco espanhol. Tá bom? Vai deu? É, vai dar uma rata também. Eu não sei. Não tem nada. Okay, vai ser isso. Live in the United States? Yes, but the problem is, the, you know, in the States, they, they have a uh, cold, you know, they mine it, they rub it all and they send it back. Oh. Uh, Sorry, no. You got deported? Deported, yes. Oh, okay. Sorry to hear that. That's a regular thing, man. Yeah. It's a regular thing. Yeah, a regular job for it. To get deported. Soon you will, you will deport him from Surinam also. <laughs> I think this is the last fight for him. Can tell you thing now? Mighty bro! Pauwara! What did you want me to say? Mina Gangster for America. Mina Gangster for America. What am I saying? That is, how are you, are you? my friend? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, am I saying I'm a gangster? Or <laughs> <laughs> oh, you I heard gangster. Back then? Yeah. 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 Back Better to go there than Brazil. Yeah. Yeah. Then I gotta speak French. Yeah, yeah. So many languages yeah, around yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, because you, 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 
the um, South American continent only Guyana speak English. Yeah, Guyana is the only one. You got your French Guyana, you got Suriname, yeah. you got Brazil, you got Venezuela, and Guyana. Yeah. Yeah, we got Guyana, we check for the Queen. So Spanish, English, Dutch, Dutch French, French yeah, Portuguese. Portuguese. Yeah. Why, why Guyana speak English? You can't the Queen. Because of the Queen. The Queen from England, UK. Yeah. Right. She imposed it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's like, y'all got to speak Columbus, English. Columbus, South, South Rock, Rally, and Big Boys, years and years and years. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, that far, man. I've been there with what? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Don't want the police check, boy. I'm telling the police later, man. You saw that you're tired. Good one. Alright. I think you have everything, right? Yeah. Alright, you have a good one. Alright. Open the power marble. And here's the hotel. Thanks a lot, don't give up. This is a little more messed up. Nice little $40 rope. Less than half the price of my room back in Guyana. So we just completed a nice little cross country travel vlog. I haven't done one of those in a while. And it was between two countries that most people don't even know exist. <laughs> I think I'm going to like it here. I think I might really like it. But uh, I'm going to save my uh, first impressions for the next one. <laughs> so, pretty tired. I've been up since 6am and I am definitely not a morning person. I'm going to go buy some food and then uh, I don't know what the hell I'm going to do. Probably pass out for at least a nap. So, from Paramaribo in Suriname, see you in the next one.